criteria to to use a special flooring is the the function the functional aspects of the building we don't have um, a special alphabet to use so and so and we are totally open and um, of course i have a different feeling for flooring or a material i want to use but my team is discussing that and that's what we're constantly doing i mean in the end of the way we have a language sure we do but we are totally open and there is no right or wrong i mean what we what we what we're talking a lot in the in the in the past or what we're talking a lot about in the past is sustainability is it wise to ship marble from Italy to New York, question mark? Shouldn't we use local materials? Isn't there, uh, I, I think this is a challenge we have to accept and that we are totally willing to accept. And this is not ending with the flooring. I mean, this is, this is a complete, or this is like, this is like uh, necessary for every material in the building. I think sustainability is a very, very delicate term because it's often used, as you say, people uh, say, oh, it's sustainable, etc. But at the end of the day, it needs also scientific background. So I think uh, the way we see architecture is we are not decorating a room for a year and then we redecorate. So I think even, uh, just the fact that we use long-term material, um, let's say a stone floor that uh, traveled a long distance, but it stays there forever. So I think it's always a calculation. I think that's the, the big question on sustainability. I think we are already sustainable if we design timeless spaces, if we design for eternity, and if we think of the day when it's demolished, hopefully never, but in this day, we are not leaving really ugly substances like glues and like stuff that they that could danger the environment later. But I think the, the topic with building materials and sustainability is, um, is, is, a, is, is a very uh, good one, but it always needs to be calculated within the, uh, the, 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 whole, the whole view and the whole picture. And obviously with the flooring sustainability, there are also products that are long lasting that we are choosing, or even let's say terrazzo flooring with, uh, with, with marble pieces, like reused pieces in it. So we can even work with a decorative uh, approach towards sustainability. Then we create a story we can talk about, oh, this has been used before, but it shouldn't, um, it shouldn't be more important than the overall aesthetics and the, and the long live it, uh, the, the long life of the material itself. Because that's, for me, that's already very, very sustainable. We enjoy the benefit of a, a huge material lab, which we have in our Stuttgart studio, with literally 10,000 of samples. And uh, that's just a paradise to, to really, you know, go in there with a concept in your mind and discover something. Uh, beside that, we are developing uh, surfaces and materials with manufacturers. Um, so we did a carpet collection with object carpet, for example, which tried to rediscover the, the sense of textile living and atmosphere within an object um, uh, and, and to teach a manufacturer to think in mistakes um, as a quality. So we built in mistakes to make it not an abstract surface, but something you can relate to, make it more personal in some of the qualities. So um, all that I think are certainly um, questions which are quite interesting to, as again, uh, connect uh, a functionality level, which you just have to have, whether it's today, of course, hygienic questions to, you say, robustness on one hand, uh, and on the other hand, to give it um, a personal touch, to give it a character, because it's all about character. We are yearning for personalities, you know, as everything is moving so fast and personalities are always something to, to hold on to. And so um, if you have a surface with a high personality, with a high, with a nice touch, whatever it is, you know, with, uh, with something which kind of keeps you remembering, I think it's a beautiful thing. <laughs>